I'm having a great day, Corey, right. and it's even gotten better now that I get to talk with you. My <laughs> audience is waiting for Corey Lindsley, the Green Bay Packers offensive lineman, and he's going to share his insights for the NFL combined 2016 draft. All right, I'm not a football girl, so make me smart here, Corey. All right, all right. Um, all right, then. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> well, uh, being an offensive lineman, you know, that's what uh, – um, that's the position I play. Uh, sort of something that's uh, it's big in our field is shielding and protecting the quarterback. Um, pass protection is huge in the game now. It's, it's a passing league for sure. And uh, two things that um, we definitely work on it day in and day out is shielding and protecting the quarterback. Um, so that's, that's sort of the job is our unsung heroes um, that we are of the game is, is to make sure our quarterback's jersey is clean at the end of the game. And that's how we know that um, we've done a good job from a pass protection standpoint. Oh, I learned something already. There you go. See? I did. <laughs> Let's keep it okay, rolling. Now, yeah, okay, so you know, <laughs> you may not know it. I'm in Dallas, Texas, and oh, yeah. you've got the world's number one team that doesn't have to win to still be the world's number one team, okay? <laughs> world's so number two I team figure, now. <laughs> I, I can't figure that one out. But no, anyway, okay, so we lost the quarterback. This is what I know, Tony Romo, because the people kept beating him up. Yeah. Yep. Why didn't they protect him? <laughs> no, it's uh, you know things aren't going to go right every every play at every game. But um, Dallas has a has a great offensive line down there for sure, and things happen. But you can definitely see w uh, the um, the importance of protecting the quarterback and shielding him from the defenders, uh, and kind of you know sometimes the season hinges on it for sure. Okay, all right. What else do I need to know as we go into this new football season? Because I know the teams. I guess they spend their off season gearing up for the new season, right? Absolutely, and uh, we haven't we haven't begun our off season program yet. That starts in April, but these guys, these rookies right now, um, they're they're preparing for the combine, and uh, um, that, that's that was an amazing experience. I was fortunate enough to be invited uh, to the combine my rookie or uh, after college um, before my rookie year, so um, that that experience was amazing. You might I don't know if you'll watch it or not. You're not a big football gal, but um, you know they it, it's. They make it out to be flashy, but it's it's a uh, it's a grind for sure. Those guys are working real hard right now, and uh, it's the biggest job interview of their life. Okay, I gotta ask you, what the heck is a combine? <laughs> so the combine is just it, it's it's um it's a place for the the uh, the prospects, the upcoming prospects, to showcase their talents. Um, there, it's an extensive process. They go through everything from uh, interviews with the teams to psychological testing to taking a uh, uh, what do they take? Uh, the, the IQ test. It's a, it's a different Wonderlick test. That's what it is. Um, so they they do everything, and then at the end of that whole process, they're uh, physically evaluated on the field um, at their last day there. So uh, it, it's it's about a four day process, I think. Um, so it's it's a long, grueling thing with very little sleep. Okay. So how do people just say you're a really, really good uh, 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 football player, mm -hmm. but you didn't? get selected in the college draft. I do know a little bit. So could, yeah. could, you, how, could you apply to be in this, saying, like, you guys overlooked me, but I want to apply anyway? Yeah, for sure. So uh, players that don't get invited to the combine, they go to, they'll have a pro day, um, and, and their teams will come to their school and, and check them out. And if not, um, well, I mean, it, most people have that. Um, but they, uh, after that process is done, you know, the draft happens. If they don't get drafted, um, they're, they're become undrafted free agents and get into um, get into a camp that way, and uh, that's the biggest thing. But I mean, regardless if you get invited or not, uh, you know, as long as you work hard and and, and keep at it, um, you know, you're you're going to be successful. All right, then. I heard that you've appeared in a film called Pitch Perfect. That's true. <laughs> no, I have not. But my oh, counter that was David. Yeah, my counterpart, who I'm in the uh, the. The video for uh, Gillette uh, Fusion Pro Shield at Walmart. We uh, we both did our um, uh, our video with that, but he's the one that's the the big film star. You can check okay. him. You can check where him can out. Where can I see the vid? Where can I see the video? I love cute men in video. Oh. <laughs> where can I see the video? Well, you can see Dave's video, which is what you're looking for at uh, MeetTheProtectors.com. My video will be up there up in March, the interview. But you can see the commercial, uh, everything uh, at, at MeetTheProtectors.com and check out. Uh, the Gillette Fusion Pro Shield at Walmart. You've been so, you've helped me so much, and I'm sure <laughs> other women are saying the same thing in my oh, audience. I want to thank interest. you. 
Thank you so very much. Come back, and if you want to educate somebody, this is the audience. We need to know. All righty. Thank you so much.